Alright, it's been a while since we have posted one of these plays on YouTube. But guess what, fellas? We're back! And since it has been so long since I've posted regular Madden content, I'm gonna do a little bit of a giveaway for you guys. 100k PS4 coins to one of you guys. All you gotta do is be subscribed to the channel, obviously support those who support you, and leave a comment down below. It can literally be a comment of anything. I don't care what it is. You can comment as many times as you want, even if it's like 25 to 100 times. I don't care. Comment as many times as you want. And then on Wednesday night, I'll use a random generator to pick a number between 1 and 20 and say it's 12th comment. 12th comment will win the 100k PS4 coins. So be sure to leave a way for me to contact you. Comment anything you want. want. Be subscribed to the channel. And while you're at it, guys, definitely be sure to hit that like button. Helps channel out. Helps us grow. We are on our way to a thousand, boys. That's absolutely crazy. Thousand subs by Man21. Let's get it. All right, but props to me. I almost made it a whole intro without talking about COVID-19. All right, we're gonna talk about the coronavirus. So I realized something today. I have to go two months without getting my hair cut. May not seem like a big deal with everything going on. I'm telling you guys right now, in two months, I'm gonna look like a freaking caveman. I am going to look homeless. In these two months, if I have to go two months without getting my hair cut, this is going to be a freaking mullet. Honestly, I might be able to rock a freaking mullet. Oh yeah, I could definitely rock a mullet. So as I said guys, it has been a while since we have gone into any formation, showing you guys some of these glitchy plays, but if you want to learn more, all you got to do is leave me a comment or reach out to me on Twitter, like my boy Corey Anderson who reached out, said he wanted to learn some more Steelers plays, so that is what we are going into today. We are going into the Steelers playbook. We are using the Chiefs because obviously they got freaking Patrick Mahomes, which let me tell you is a system quarterback. And they got Tyreek Hill, fastest man alive. But if you too want to have me go over a specific play, a specific formation, or you just want to learn something, all you got to do is comment down below or reach out to me on Twitter. Love interacting with you guys. Love hearing what you guys want to see. And I'll definitely be sure to make a video on it. Also, Madden 21 is only about four months away and they're gonna start releasing news on it soon. So if you wanna be first to know about all these glitchy plays, any Madden 21 news or any other tips and information that I will be releasing throughout the next couple months, be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell if you're new. All right, so the first thing that I noticed about this Pittsburgh Steelers playbook is they have one of the best formations in the game, which is Gun Bunch. So I'm gonna show you a few plays out of Gun Bunch, just really, really quick, just cause we've gone over them before and there's tons of videos. And then this Gun Trio formation is really good. So there's about three plays I wanna show you, one that beats cover three, one that beats cover three and cover two, and then another beats man out this. So first thing I wanna do, we're gonna go with this deep corner post just cause it's a freaking bomb, all right? So all you gotta do here is you gotta put Sammy Watkins on a corner, max protect and then streak Tyree kill here so this is what the play should look like the comeback takes one safety down and the streak takes the other safety with them and it frees up that complete left side for that post route right here we'll show you right here you'll see here it'll get wide open boom you can freaking i don't know run a freaking train through that i don't know it's wide open and you walk into the end zone for a touchdown it works really well versus cover three like i said you've probably seen some of these plays before just because gun punch is so popular but you haven't seen a lot of these gun trio plays i feel like there's not a lot of playbooks with this gun trio formation and you see there able to nicely squeeze it in there and walk into the end zone for a touchdown. So that is one play out of gun bunch that beats cover three, very easy to set up. And it's a very easy to read because that corner route gets over top so easily. Another play I want to show you is we're going to show, this is one of my favorite plays, honestly, just because it works really well versus cover three. And it also works really good versus cover two. And that's corner strike right here. So we're going to start off with a cover two. Just the cover two play, it's a little bit more boring. There's no one play touchdown with it. It's more of like making smart reads, making smart decisions, and you'll slowly nitpick your way down the field. But this is what it's set up like. All I do is block the running back, and then the route you're looking for is circle and X. When it's cover two, they're either gonna be in a hard flat or a cloud flat, these cornerbacks over here. If it's a cloud flat, 
you're going to look at Kelsey pick up a few yards. If it's a hard flat and he's playing more down towards the line of scrimmage, this corner out's going to be wide open. Robinson's going to be open. So we're going to have this corner out right there. See there, it was a hard flat. He was playing up wide open corner out. We're able to get a bunch of yards. Let's see if he plays a cloud flat now. If he plays a cloud flat, this one, you don't gain a lot of yards. See there, we gained about three yards. But you got four chances to get a first down. Four times three, if they keep running the cover two, is 12. So, dude, I don't freaking care. I'll take my first down every time. Bits. So once again, it's just making smart reads, which can be hard and take a lot of practice. But if, oh man, yeah, see there. Ah, gain about two. Like, big deal. You still gain yards. It's more of, if nothing's there, you have a security option right there to kind of pass it to. You're looking for this corner out, though, which he's playing the hard flat, and you're able to get open. So that's how it beats cover two. So next up, we're going to go corner strike, then cover three. So at cover three, you'll see formations that look like this. This is where it'll be a one play touchdown. You also see cover threes that are disguised as a cover two, where you'll have like two safeties back. It will not work for that. But this is set up, all you gotta do is you gotta max protect. With these one play touchdowns, obviously you need all the blocking you can get. So we're gonna max protect and then streak Tyreek Hill. On that streak, you wanna have somebody fast, but watch this, he's gonna completely burn. All right, that's not supposed to happen. All right, since Khalil Mack wants to be a little bitch, we're gonna double team him and see if that helps. So. Frick yeah, we got all blocking we need. You kind of throw that outside, but you see there, he's able to get past that safety. That's why you want to have somebody fast. That's why we're using the Chiefs. It represent, represents somebody like an ultimate team with the team they have, or somebody that plays regs who usually uses Chiefs. But see, like a formation like this, this play's probably not going to work because that safety is going to kind of go back with them. See right there, doesn't really work. You can try to bomb it, and I mean, it will still work, but you need to have a really fast wide receiver and probably go against a safety who is not as fast. So last play I want to show you, beats man coverage. It's going to be this vertical display. This play works very well versus blitzes if you have enough time or like man coverage or anything like that. So we're going to go against Storm Brave right here, and it's really easy block the running back right here and then what i like to do personally because i know where i'm going is you move him out here and then he just beats me in coverage so easily if you get the blocks boom he gets by him make a good throw he was able to keep up with him for some reason usually you want to have somebody a little bit faster on that side outside right there but if you get the blocking right there and it's man coverage he i mean he's playing back bro and he's still torching him it's a little bit tighter. If they're playing traditional man coverage and pressing a little bit, this play works a lot better. But you see right now, that little, like, I don't even know what the frick you call it. Boom. Boom. It works really well and is able to get past man coverage. It'll work for really any man. And you see right there, boom. Give him a little swerve catch. And that the, that works really well for his man coverage. So in Gun Bunch, you can be cover two, cover three and man coverage now we're gonna get into this gun trio formation which after kind of going over it a little bit it's pretty glitchy bro there's a few plays i want to show you the first play is going to be the steelers dig play which works really well versus cover four cover six and cover three this play works really good versus three different formations so first play i want to show it against is going to be cover four quarters so we're going to come on cover four quarters you can tell it's cover four because the corners are just playing so freaking far back and all you gotta do is you just gotta make sure you have enough blocking so what i like to do block the running back we're gonna motion him over hike him by the line give us an extra blocker make sure we can get it and look how open triangle gets we're gonna pass lead it up He's wide open. You have to pass lead it up a little bit if you bring in that wide receiver to kind of block. So as long as you pass lead it up a little bit, you're gonna be able to beat cover four every time. So we'll pass lead it up and look how much room he has in front of him. He's able to walk into the end zone every freaking time. He's able to catch the ball, eat a sandwich, go jerk off, come back, catch the ball again and walk into the end zone. It's that freaking good, baby. So we're gonna do with this Steelers dig again. And this time we're gonna go against a cover six, which a lot of people don't run, but it's still really good to be in case you do go against it. And you're still gonna look for that post route right here. But what you're gonna do now is you're gonna streak your running back 
and you're gonna kind of move him outside here. That's gonna take one of those safeties over to the right a little bit and you can fit it into where triangle is right there. So he cuts back, boom, you're able to fit it right in there because that post, that uh, streak with the running back takes the safety over to the right more, frees up the middle of the field, and you have a nice easy window to kind of throw it into. So you kind of want to throw this a little bit more when he, the corner out starts to break on the inside a little bit. Once you do that, if you press X, he'll get a nice little animation there. Boom, we're able to throw it over like in the soft spot of the zone. And we're able to get a nice completion there. Now I wanna show you guys how good this play is versus cover three. And with cover three, it's a little bit different just the fact that you have to be a sp specific spot on the field so we'll come out random cover three here. what you need is you need to be on the short side of the field you need to have the post go towards the short side of the field so we're going to move the ball over right here so the ball is on this side the post is going towards that side and for whatever reason it just frees up a ton of space so this play is a little bit different just because there is more to set up all you gotta do though is block the running back streak Tyree Kill right here, the inside receiver, and then bring Robinson all the way over and hike it when he gets by the line of scrimmage. That'll give you an extra blocker, just giving you more time because this play does take a little <laughs> All right, if my line freaking blocks for me, we might have a touchdown. Please block. All right, we picked up the block. We picked up the block. We picked up the block, wide open, Sammy freaking Watkins jerking off him to the end zone, let's go. One more, this play's gonna freaking work, all right? This play's gonna work, I know it will. There we go, we got the blocks, boys. Get outside, oh my god, wide open for the freaking touchdown, fuck the Bears. So there's one more play I wanna show you out of the Steelers formation, and it's the Steelers slap out you're basically gonna leave it stuck and it works versus everything we're gonna come out in a random defensive play here so we're in a random defensive play here it looks like it's cover two but i leave it stuck i just block the running back and then you gotta make a smart read that's all you gotta do so you're gonna be looking at the out route that route that robinson's on is so freaking glitchy that's probably one of your best routes to throw to just because you're gonna gain like five yards every single time if you just catch the ball run up field because for whatever reason it hits a soft spot nobody guards it and then you want to look at kelsey so we're gonna run this a few times boom we'll hit that there will pick up like four yards every single time they do not cover it for whatever reason like i said if you're getting four yards get that three times you have a freaking first down i will take my slow ass time getting into the end zone but goddamn i'm gonna get into the end zone so we'll keep around this a few more see if we can hit some of these no we'll take you five more yards easy as that that route just gets open they don't cover it and if they do cover it that out route gets open every time so you got two routes it's really hard to just guard it see there out route holy shit we made a terrible read but we're still able to complete it get a nice completion right there so one more time just block the running back and then make a read you're looking for kelsey hill or boom see there we we're able to, nothing else was open so we had kelsey over it's very hard to cover all three routes if your opponent can cover all three routes i'm just you're probably fucked anyways guys there you have it bunch of one play touchdowns out of the Steelers playbook low-key this playbook's kind of fire so if you want to test something new as we get towards the end of the year just tr try to switch things up spice up things a little bit definitely give this playbook a try so we went over like what six plays today there's six really good passing plays in this to go to and then obviously you have the glitchy runs like stretch and everything like that that you can implement into a scheme but I hope this video helped once again, all you got to do is be subbed, comment, and I'll pick a winner Wednesday night for the 100k PS4 giveaway. But if you are new, be sure to subscribe, hit that notification bell as we make our way to a thousand freaking subs. Damn it, I'm excited, boys. But anyways, hopefully you like this video. Let me know of any other playbooks or plays you want me to see. I'll catch you guys in my next upload. Peace.